Okay, I'm going to show you the different ways that we can deal with keywording in Aperture 3 and a lot of this applies to Aperture 2 as well. Now at the moment I have a photograph selected here as you can see this little alien character and I have the metadata tab open and at the moment the photograph doesn't have any keywords. Now what I'm actually going to do is the first way we can do this I'm going to click in the keywords box and I'm going to add two keywords here. I'm going to add alien and a comma and toy and the reason they, they appear there is because I've done this before to test so obviously it's doing the autocomplete that's why you see those appearing in there so now when I click off the picture and I click back again you can see that this file now has the two keywords alien and toy now none of these other files of course have these keywords at the moment and we're actually now going to transfer those over to those images and what we're going to do is a common way to do this here is to use the the stamp tool and what we're going to do is first we'll use the lift tool which is this one here when we click that it brings up this HUD now let's take a quick look at this HUD here now anything that you do to a photograph and then click the lift tool any of those changes will appear in this this list here now you can see for example that you know I've made an exposure adjustment there plus the raw fine tuning however the only items that are going to be applied to other pictures when I use the stamp tool will be the ones that have these check marks so in this case it's only going to be the keywords alien and toy now let's say that for example you know you you only want to use the word alien well that's okay you can just click on the toy there and hit delete and now you'll only be stamping the alien word now it hasn't actually removed that keyword from the file as you can see here all it's done is we've just removed it from this kind of this temporary copy that's going to be stamped onto these other images so what I'm going to do I'll just move that up there a little bit and I'm actually now going to go through and I'm going to shift click to select those files and now I'm going to use the stamp tool and now that I've done that you'll see the little indicators change and I'm going to close that HUD and when I click on these other files you can now see that they have the alien keyword like they do there so that's one way that's the lift and stamp tool now it's important to remember that you can do that with anything any of the settings any of the adjustments that you make I'm just using it here as an example of the keywords tool um, in fact let me give you another quick example here I'll select this file go over to adjustments and let's just do something really obvious like make it underexposed really drop the exposure down there make it really dark now what I can do is if I go up here you'll see that you know it has this adjustment exposure that I did so I'm going to select that and I'll just select these other three files and stamp those and you'll see that it'll stamp that adjustment that exposure adjustment and so now all of them have that that negative exposure setting there so just proof that it can be done with anything let's just go back to the metadata panel now what I'm going to do is I'll show you another way to do this now there's a couple of different ways that we can get to a tool here that I'm going to show you as a keyboard shortcut which is shift and H or we can go up to the window menu and choose show keywords HUD and this is actually going to bring up this little HUD I'll just move it over here and this list grows over time and it has some presets in there but it's going to have a list of all the keywords that you've used within the library here so you can see that we have the alien at the top there and here's our toy one well what I can do is I can literally just click on his toy here and drag it and drop it over this file and it's going to add it to that file now of course you can always go through and I'll select these ones here that only have the alien keyword and take toy and this time because I have multiple files selected when I drag and drop that keyword on there I'll just close this now you'll see that all of these files receive that extra keyword so that's another way that you can do that and in, if you want to you know you can have your own presets that you put in here rather than adding them on the fly so we could actually bring up the the HUD here and you can actually go in and add new ones or even groups as you see here so what you can do is add a top level one I'll just call this um, let's see let's just call this green and so now we now have a new keyword green well now I have a, a green keyword and a blue keyword so what I could do is I could actually make a new group and I'll just call this colors and now I could actually go in and add colors and blue sorry I'm gonna move that keyword there and I now have green and blue under colors 
so you can keep them grouped because as you can imagine over time this this list is going to grow quite extensive and sometimes it's nice you know like if you've got pictures of a wedding you can just pop open a category here just find what you want these pre-built ones for you and just drag and drop them over there so that's the keywords hard I'm actually going to show you an extra little thing here on the metadata panel what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one of these files up here and I'm going to hit the V key to go to a different view and I'll hit V again to get a full view there we go notice that we have this this little panel up here that has is like the LCD panel on your cameras and it tells you the camera and the camera make the lens used the exposure settings and all those kind of things while one of the other useful things here if you want to check the focus in of the image or you think that maybe you know your, your camera is back or forward focusing um, I won't go into to explain what that means now but you need to just you're just curious as to how the camera focus the image well you know each focusing sensor has these little sensors in there that that have particular areas of the image that they focus on in the camera and a lot of the time you'll see those on the back of the display well now in aperture 3 it'll display that for you if I just hover over this little icon you'll see these little squares appear and the little red square is telling me that the center focus point on the camera was used now when I go off of there you can see that it turns off if you want it to stay on you can just click on there and that's actually going to stay turned on now and if I just move through some different images you can see that that stays on there to show us you know the focusing points and I can just click to turn it off so that's a extra little useful feature there for you